That whole day, Darby was buoyant. Who knew when she'd see Argy again? But for now, she was walking on air, alive with the glow of a new connection. The next day, that glow began to wear off, and she hadn't heard from him. So Darby went to great lengths to keep herself busy, deciding it was time to color code her book collection. Hey. Do you think I should do, like, an accent while in here? What kind of accent? Just, I mean, just like... Australian? Oh my god. So it's not helpful. You know what I'm going through. Darby, I'm an accent wall. I hate you. The third day was harder. Darby sunk into an awful apprehension. Why hadn't Argy texted? Was she boring? Was her body weird? Darby's brain started doing mental gymnastics, coming up with ways she could casually run into him. Honestly, like, at this point, I'm kind of pissed. You know, I'm tempted to, like, just go to Politico and confront him. OK, Darby, look, I love you, but do remember that's my place of work, OK? So keep that in mind. No, please do it. Thank you. Honestly. She thinks it's funny. I would never. I would never. Mostly, maybe. Are those dates? Mm-hmm. OK, so date farmers are on strike in Mexico, so technically you guys are like scared. Oh my, you know what, Jim? We don't need that. Oh. We don't need that. On the fourth day of radio silence, Darby buried herself in her work. this tour? It is two full hours. Get wow. ready. Okay, we're going to start over here. This super cute muscular bronze butt. This Greek bronze butt is very rare because when Romans took over Greek dominions, they knew how valuable the bronze was that the sculptures were made of, so they often melted them down to make armor and weapons. And we're very <laughs> fortunate that this sculpture has been preserved. So we can all enjoy this very emotional, expressive, clenched butt. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Spencer's dick. <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, please, don't touch the statues. This is really against the rules. As Darby watched this woman climb a statue that had managed to survive centuries, she couldn't help but marvel that someone chose this person. And not just for a day, but for the rest of her life. Darby couldn't even get a was up. Around her life continued, as if somehow there was anything more important than what she was going through. By this point, she'd managed to pull her flatmates into it, as she carried on in the grand tradition of women waiting by the phone. Is your dad? Good. Uh, he wants to know who sings the song dot, 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 Wonderwall, dot, dot, dot. Oh. I'm sorry it wasn't Augie. It's OK. You know, it was my dad. At least it wasn't my gym asking where I've been. <laughs> oh my god, why am I spinning out? All oh, this sucks. Why don't you just take the reins and text him? Can I do that? No, yeah. you can't. Look, I know it's f***ed up, but you have to wait for him to hit you up. Are you I don't want to get into a political debate about it. It's just the world right now. Says the girl who made Jim read his high school diary out loud to you. Like, there are zero boundaries. Look, boundaries don't uh, exist. Yeah, because I pay my dues. Look, you can play the crazy card down the road, but right now, you've got to, like, bear down. No, 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 no. That's so antiquated. Listen, why do you need a boyfriend right now? Honestly, look what it's doing to you. This isn't Jane Austen times. I'm sorry. I think I'm just stressed because, like, I told my boss that I was bringing a plus one to his wedding, and now I think it would be super embarrassing to just, like, not bring anyone. I know what you're thinking, you little zero to 60 Even freak. as a favor, I nope. could just be like, hey, you as a friend, as a buddy. You cannot invite Augie to that wedding, right? Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with him, and it's so pathetic. I'll just... <laughs> no! Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna be totally chill. Totally. I'm gonna be totally chill. Mm -hmm.